just days away from election day and both campaigns are making a big push for the all-important state of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania carries 20 electoral college votes. Just like it's hard to see Donald Trump winning the White House again if he loses the state of Florida, the same can be said for Joe Biden and the state of Pennsylvania. A poor showing there could bode very badly for his campaign. President Trump has a number of rallies planned for the state. And I'm thrilled to be back in the great commonwealth of Pennsylvania so much. Thank you. Where the story of American independence began, it's the state where the American Constitution was signed. Think of that. And three days from now, this is the state that will save the American dream. Joe Biden and former President Barack Obama held an event in Michigan. I tell you what, Barack Obama, it's great to be with the president again. It reminds me of what we can be when you have a president of character, a president respected around the world, a president our kids looked up to and did look up to. Many of the polls show Biden beating Trump in the state of Pennsylvania by around five points but people on the ground in the state say that the race is much tighter. This comes as what looks like a new surge in coronavirus infections. The US tallied more than 99,000 new cases, a global record on Friday. More than 500,000 new cases in the past week. While the worst is in the central part of the country, the Midwest and the Mountain West, there are fears that it could spread across the entire country. The coronavirus has changed the way Americans are voting. More than 90 million Americans have already voted, either mail-in voting or early voting. Analysts say we could see a turnout in the vote not seen for 100 years. More than 9 million people have voted in the state of Texas this year. That's more than all of the votes Texas saw in 2016. Toby Muse reporting for CGTN, Washington.